is a forced taking of the female victim from a hallway in the school into a classroom that was empty, that there was unwarranted and as well as non-consensual touching of uh, her chest area, her private areas. The big story right now at five, a Loudoun County teen accused in two sexual assault cases back in court today. He entered a plea in the latest incident that happened last month at Broad Run High School, but for the first time tonight, we're hearing from that suspect's family. Fox 5 Sierra Fox staying on top of all those developments live tonight in Leesburg, Sierra. Today in court, the team pled no contest to abduction and sexual battery. That means he's accepting the conviction without admitting guilt. I also spoke with the 15 year old's mother with tears in her eyes. She told me that her son, his brain is still developing. He's young and still has a lot to learn. And she's hoping that he's given the opportunity to do better. According to a Loudoun County prosecutor in court today, here's what happened on October 6 at Broad Run High School in Ashburn, Virginia. Around 1236 in the afternoon, the victim was walking down the hall with the accused teen. The bell rang and the young lady made a joke that the teen was going to be late for class. That's when he looked around to see if anyone was paying attention and pulled the victim into an empty classroom. School surveillance video caught that on camera. The teen then allegedly put his arm around the victim's neck and mouth, making it difficult for her to breathe, but the prosecutor says he did not strangle her. The male teenager was mad at the joke she made since he just started at Broad Run High School and was worried about his reputation. The two students were in the classroom for a total of about 10 minutes, and at some point, he put his hand under her shirt and touched her bare breast. The prosecutor says the teen admit to pushing the victim into a classroom and touching her breast over her clothes, but denied putting his hands over her mouth and neck. The teen was already found guilty in an assault that happened back in May at Stonebridge High School. He will be back in court on Monday, December 13th at 10 in the morning. That's when the judge will sentence the 15-year-old for both cases. The Commonwealth's Attorney's Office says Virginia court is designed around rehabilitation, not forced punishment. They are waiting for a recommendation from the juvenile probation as well as a psychosexual evaluation before any final decisions are made. By juvenile code, the court has a very wide latitude of what it can do as far as the disposition is. That is going to be based on a social history that is, has been ordered to determine what is the background of the 15-year-old boy, what the offenses are that occurred, that he, the evidence was found to be sufficient, and then what services and what um, consequences should be imposed upon him. A spokesperson for the victim's family tells me that they feel like justice will be served. They're looking forward to the next court hearing, and they say they plan to sue Loudoun County Public Schools. Of course, Fox 5 will keep you up to date with the latest. Back to you.